I'm going to start by priming my face with my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I've used quite a few primers, but this one I keep going back to. And I love the smell of it. It smells like coconuts. I'm just going to put it all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, the pore minimizing purple one, the oil free one. <laughs> Told you it smells like coconuts. I just bought this, so I haven't tried it yet. Alright, good enough. I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna put it in my T-zone. Yes, I love you too. I do, I love you. And then I'm going to be taking this NYX HD concealer in the yellow color. It says CW10. It's okay. I hate the packaging it's like completely wiped off and it gets all over your hands it's i just don't like it i'm just gonna put that a few dots under my eyes and try to cover up the dark circles a little bit i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend it out i have a few Blemishes. Put it on the nose. And then I'm going in with my foundation. I'm currently using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I'm in the lightest color there possibly is. 0.5. So far I like it. I've used quite a few, and this one and the tart one have to be my favorite so far. And then I just take my tart, I believe it's the it's a, f I don't know, I don't exactly remember what it's called, but I'll have everything linked down below for you. I'm just going to blend it out. It's snowing outside and she's freaking out because she wants to go play so bad. And then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I just bought I just bought this too. It was sold out at my Ulta for I don't even know how long. Um, so we're going to try it out. See how I like it. I love the packaging of it. I just think it's so pretty. And then I got the lightest color there is, because I'm ghostly, in the shade Fair, under my eyes. Seems really thick. I don't know how I'll feel about that. So we'll see how it blends out then. And then I'm just going to bake under my eyes with my Makeup Forever HD powder. I'm not quite sure how I like this. It kind of leaves like a white cast and then the filter of it gets really nasty. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know. I just, I'm not a big fan of it. But I figured I'll use it up before I buy something else. 
And then now I'm just going to wipe the baking away. I actually like to use my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. I like to take that middle banana color in Lyric and actually wipe it away. And then just take it, sweep it under my eyes. I really do like this contour palette, but I notice there's a lot of fallout in it from the ABH one that I used. I don't know if you, you can't see it on camera, but you can like see the white cast where I had the Makeup Forever powder on. And then I'm just going to be taking this far color. It's called Subconscious, and I like to use that to contour my face. And the brush I'm using to do that is just the e.l.f. Professional Powder Brush. And I'm just going to take it down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm just going to bronze up the rest of my face so it'll match a little better. And I'm just using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. It's okay. I feel like my skin's a little <laughs> too pale for it. I'm just going in with my e.l.f. Professional Bronzing Brush to do that. For how cheap these things are, they actually do have pretty good quality. I'm just going to go with my face. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go in with some blush. Usually I don't like to wear it, but for the holidays it makes a little nice extra color to your cheeks. And I like, I've been using the Milani powder blush in Romantic Rose. It's the 01. I actually really like this color. I love that mauve color. And then I have this that I use for my blush. It's just called, it's by Studio M. It was just a really cheap blush brush since I don't really like to use it. And then, I know this is a setting brush, but I like to use it for my highlighter. It's the Real Techniques setting brush. I, I just love the brush head on it. And then I'm going in with my Becca highlighter, I believe. It's the color Pearl. It's really pretty. It's really white. So it's good for those fair-skinned people. I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones. And I'm just going to prime my eyelids now so it'll give a little bit of time to dry while I do my eyebrows. I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I like this stuff pretty well. And for my brows, I'm just going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I use the color Dark Brown. And my favorite brush to use for that is um, the Build-A-Brow number 12 brush by IT Cosmetics. Little indents in it so it can make individual hairs. It's really nice. And the eyeshadow palette I'm using today, I'm using the Tartlet in Bloom. I feel like it has a lot of pretty Christmassy colors, especially those burgundy ones down there. Then I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild eyeshadow, eyeshadow brush, it's the fluffier one, and I'm just gonna go in with Flower Child, and I'm gonna put it all over my lid. And then going in with my it brushes from Ulta. It's number 105. It's just a fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna first go in with Smarty Pants. I'm just gonna take it and put it in the crease. I'm gonna go in with Jet Setter and put it in the 
crease as well to darken it up a bit. I'm taking just this, it's actually the concealer brush from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna go in with Rebel in the bottom. It's just a nice burgundy color. I'm gonna put that all over my lid. And it's not quite as dark as I want it, so I'm going to take leader a little bit. My camera's dying. Put it on the outer V. And I'm just going to take this small blending brush. I'm going to blend those two colors out a little bit. I'm going to take firecracker. I'm going to put it all over my lid. I'm just going to finish up, apply some false lashes, and since my camera's dying, I'll just show you the overall finished product. Um, I'm going to be using my Ardell Wispy Lashes, and I use the It Hello Lashes Mascara. And I'll be right back. Couldn't find my eyelash glue, so I ended up not using my wispies. But what I just finished is I took the darkest burgundy color, I believe it's called Vamp, and I just added that underneath my eye, and then I took the color Activist and put it in my outer V to kind of darken it up a little bit. Um, I just used my It Cosmetics Hello Lashes mascara, my up and upper and lower lashes kind of like this mascara. I mainly bought it because the handle is squishy. And then for my lips, I aligned it with my Milani lip liner in color 04 All Natural. And then the color I have on my lips is the Julep. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Matte Lip Mousse in the color Say Hello. I absolutely love this. It's the only kind of liquid lipstick that I can actually tolerate and stand on my lips because it's not super drying and I just like the packaging I think it's really cute it's like a perfect everyday color I think I wear it all the time but that'll be it for this video I figured I would just do like an updated everyday makeup routine Christmas look this is what I ended up doing with my eyes it's really bad lighting it's really gross outside it's gray and snowing so i did the best that i could and i will see you in my next video bye